And good evening, everyone. I'm Dana Kozlov. And I'm Joe Donlin. We begin here at 6 with a year-long CBS2 investigation. A former state inspector seen here accused of groping a woman during an inspection. Jose Guillen is now federally charged with doing this to several business owners. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey joins us live at the Thompson Center. Megan, Guillen stepped down after your report aired last year, and now we've learned the state hired him again. Right, Joe and Dana rehired this time by the Illinois Department of Employment Security, or IDES. He's been getting paid by the state since February, that last paycheck coming just last Friday. But today, IDES telling us he no longer works for them either. Part of me, like, regrets that I didn't come forward sooner because of the fact that if I had, there's some women that it happened to afterwards. Bucktown doggy daycare owner Leah Bindig is one of at least five women identified as Jose Guillen's victims in federal charging documents filed Wednesday. Guillen was charged with five counts related to groping the victims we spoke to in a series of reports that aired in 2021. The alleged sexual touching happened during mandatory on-site inspections of these female business owners' facilities. One incident even caught on camera. Guillen was also charged for lying during this deposition last were you, year. Were you then falling? I was keeping my balance to make sure I didn't fall. Okay. And to keep your balance, you ended up touching her buttocks? That's correct. We broke the story in June 2021, and today we learned Guillen technically resigned before he could be terminated from the Department of Agriculture. And then, according to state salary records, was hired by the state again in January as an employment security program representative. As of his last paycheck a week ago, he'd been paid 20,000 taxpayer dollars so far this year. The victims in this case want to know how that is possible. Today, IDES told us Guillen is no longer with their department. A spokesperson told me during his time at IDES, the employee had limited interactions with the public and no interactions with the public without a supervisor present. In part because the employee resigned before he could be terminated from the Department of Agriculture. His conduct there was not included in his application materials. Now, IDES tells us Guillen was placed on administrative leave following his arrest on Wednesday, but that he signed a resignation form that went into effect today. Now, we did ask if anyone at IDES was in touch with anyone at the Department of Agriculture during that application process to ask about his performance or any complaints there. We also asked if they did a Google search on his name, which would have pulled up the results of our investigation, but a spokesperson did not answer those specific questions. She did, however, say that they are working to, quote, strengthen their hiring procedures. Joe? Megan, thank you very much. To see Megan's original reporting that led to Guillen resigning, download our CBS Chicago app. You'll find that wherever you get your apps.